I have animated no baboons, but I have worked on a bunch of projects for baboon animation, which actually, as far as I know, does not animate baboons. It's a writing company. It's specifically designed to uh, write scripts for animated projects. MTV had a contest and we ended up winning it twice. We were suddenly on MTV's radar. We did a couple of small jobs for them. You know, the MTV logo, the animated logo. The head of uh, MTV promos department said, I've got this new thing. It's just these two ugly kids looking at each other and laughing. <laughs> it was Beavis and Butthead. And he said, we're going to make 79 of them. Do you want to direct them? Suddenly, we were part of this hit thing, and DreamWorks drafted me soon after that. I worked on a lot of movies for them, uh, Madagascar, story consulting on Shrek 2, Shrek the Third. Wrote the original story with Mark Osborne for Monsters vs. Aliens. Oh, so here Jack has to say, we got all the time in the world. And Gordon has to say, whoa, 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 no, no. Now Baboon Animation has a writing team of Jack does the thing. Like, five or six hardcore working regularly writers and an extended team of 25 writers. We often are asked to take series from another country originating in, a, in another language and rewrite it into English even after the show is made in a way that looks like it was originally created in American English using American actors. We're doing this interview over Skype because 80 to 90% of our work um, at Baboon is, is working with international clients. American English has become the lingua franca for the entire industry because a producer in Russia and a distributor in Brazil will have a common language English. So that's, that's the version of the work that they'll use as the sales tool to sell it to the rest of the planet. We'll get the, the media, the, the uh, footage, the actual thing that was aired in the international market in whatever the native language was, along with a translation, which is often fairly rudimentary. Then you have to rewrite all the dialogue. You have to hopefully punch it up and make it more entertaining. And you also have to make it match the existing animation. You can't introduce any physical elements, obviously anything on screen. You have to, you have to go through frame by frame, see how the lips flap, how many syllables are in each word, and then come up with dialogue that works for the story. <laughs> A broa vira as costas e se afasta. No consultório. Depois disso, eu tenho evitado sair. Did you just come from the oven? Or are you always this hot? After that experience, I simply avoided going out. Oh la la, you're breaking my heart. You seem to have developed this self-confidence, Sebastian Cracker. You have to make the syllable count and you also have to look at the shape of the mouth because when a mouth is making an O, there are only four or five specific sounds in our language that do that. One of the tricks of the trade is whenever a character is off screen, whether they're saying anything in the original version or not, you can write a line. You remind me of my ex-husband. That's our top secret method. So now you all know. So now you can all start your own animation punch-up companies. We have in two or three cases rewritten an entire movie over the top of an existing movie, completely different storyline, to make it what the clients feel is a better movie, what we try to make a better movie. They're like, we made this movie, cost us 10 million, everyone's telling us it sucks. Can you make a better movie using this movie? And we foolishly say yes, and then we, we pull our hair and eyebrows and nose hairs out, just trying to make it all work and making that stuff fit in there. All right, oh. sequence eight. Coffee. Coffee. The picture is locked, the music is done. Everything is done. It's a finished film, and we have to invent a different finished film to paste over the top of it to make it look like it's an okay American movie. And then they sell it. In many of these cases, it never comes to the US at all. It just gets redubbed into other people's languages. But it was our work that got it sold there. Oh my, aren't you that guy on TV? Hi, Carly, I'm not on television. I'm a block of cheese. 
Swiss cheese.